Good day, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to add drawer widget in your app. This is a great way to make your user interface more fluent. And also, there are a lot of different use cases for this. For example, shopping cart or profile settings. But without further ado, let's start building. So first step, what we want to do is add a new page to our canvas. Let's choose this template for this video and then create a page. Perfect. Now we can delete the home page because we will not be needing it. After we deleted our home page, we get this error because we do not have home page anymore. Let's correct this. Okay. Now what we want to do is go through our elements from the left and add drawer widget to our app. Perfect. Now here we can adjust the size of the drawer widget. Let's change this to percentage and try out some variations. Okay, 75 looks nice. Then let's create a new page with some content. We are just going to take a copy of this page and paste it inside of our drawer. When you have taken a copy of this widget, Go back to our original page, then look for the drawer widget from the bottom left. Open it up. And paste it in here. Okay, great. Now we have a drawer with some data inside of it. Next step is to set up the opening and closing logic for it. Also, we got some errors here. These errors are because this app does not use the same theme as the template app used. You can easily fix this by click on the container, look for the line color, and switch it to something else, or you can just remove the box color. For this app, we are going to use preview mode, so I'm not going to remove the color from all of these containers. Now we can add row inside of our drawer widget. Let's do it simply by clicking on this text widget with the right click, then wrap this widget inside of a row. Good job then add a bit of padding to the row so it's not stuck on the top of the widget. And inside of the row we can add icon button. Then click on the row and space the items on the ends. Also let's give some padding to the row so it looks neat. Great. Then click on the icon button and add a new action to it. This action will be close drawer. Then we can close this action center. Then we can delete this page. We will not be needing it. And also, let's add a logic to open our drawer. Click on this shopping cart and add an action to it. On tap. Search for drawer. and make sure you have open drawer selected. Then close this and we can try out our app. And there you have it fully functioning drawer. I hope that this video have been useful to you. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like and subscribe so I will be seeing you in my next video. Anyway, have a wonderful day.